Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to mass import records into your Zoho CRM system. Once we log into our Zoho CRM system, of course we'll come to the home screen like usual. From here we want to go to the module that we want to import the records into. Um, this can be done for any module, but in this example we're going to use our leads module. So we go over to our leads and as you can see we've got absolutely no records. Um, in our leads module. If we want to uh, create one record, we could just press the create record or, or create lead button and then we'd fill out um, the form and go from there. However, that's for a separate video. In this video, we're going to show you how to mass import. So you want to go to the drop down arrow by the blue button, but the drop down arrow to the right of the uh, create lead uh, button and press that. And then it says import leads or import notes. Now we want to import leads as obviously that is our record type. So we, if we press import leads, uh, the Zoho CRM system will either take us to, uh, well, it, it will take us to this page where we'll either have the option to import leads from a file or import leads from another CRM system. Uh, in this video, we're strictly going to cover how to import leads from a file. So as you can see here, you can um, it clearly states that you can import up to a thousand records through uh, Excel spreadsheet um, for file format or CSV file format. However, if you're exporting more, than, or, sorry, if you're importing more than a thousand records into your Zoho CRM system, uh, the file strictly has to be a CSV file. Um, and then obviously you can drag and drop your file here, or you can press the browse button and uh, obviously you go through your machine to find the file that you want to import. So I'm going to drag and drop our test CSV file um, into our system. Uh, there we go. Okay, so the file has been successfully uploaded. Obviously, this is a very small file with only one record on. However, if there was a if it was a record with uh, sorry if it was a file with a large number of records it might take a little bit longer to upload uh, we'll then click next now we are then given the option um, to either add the records uh, from the uh, csv file as either new leads update existing leads or both however unfortunately these are for the paid version only, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. However, I will be making a video on how to go how to do this as well. So as we're adding them as new leads, we're just going to continue there and press next. Now, what we need to do is we then need to map the fields from the file to the fields on the form uh, under that module. So as you can see here, it says fields in file. And fields in Zoho CRM system. Now fortunately Zoho CRM system is quite clever and uh, does its best to work out as much as it possibly can. In some cases it may struggle so this is where you have the option of selecting and changing them so you can change the mapping um, just to ensure that it's, the data is going from the CSV file into the right place on the form. So once we're happy with that, we will then press the next button. Now we're left with a couple of options. Um, trigger, trigger configured automations and processes for new and updated records. Essentially, this is asking you, do you want the new records are added into the Zoho CRM system? Do you want all any um, automations to be triggered like they would be if a new record is created? Um, you, you can either select yes or no. This this might be where tasks are created for users to uh, act on these records, etc. Uh, it may be worth doing. It may not, but that's of course entirely up to you. If we select yes, uh, this bottom bit disappears, uh, and then if we select no, we are still left with the option add follow up task to new records and assign it to record owner, and then you can follow up. Recontact and task to reattempt. You can you can set these tasks if you so wish. Another option we are left with is enable manual lead approval. 
Now, essentially, this would mean that we would have to manually approve every single new record that is being imported into the CRM system. So if you know this is good data going in, then you wouldn't necessarily need to do this. You, it probably wouldn't be worth your time. However, if there is data that might you might want to go over again, or it might be useful just to get someone to be going through that data just to make sure everything is right, then um, we'll select enable manual lead approval. In this instance, we're going to do it just so I can show you what you'd have to do if you do select this option. Once you press finish, um, it, the leads import is scheduled. It usually happens fairly quickly. Uh, you'll receive an email to say that um, it's been completed and there is usually a box in the bottom right hand corner as, as we can see here, import status, to let us know that it's been done. Um, I'm going to refresh our browser very quickly just to make sure everything has gone through. Now, as you can see, there are, oh, there you go, there are no leads in this custom view. And the reason being is we need to approve the leads. So um, what we need to do, if, if you already had, um, if you already had lead records here, you wouldn't be seeing this. So let's pretend we're not. We'd need to go to actions and then we'd need to go to approve leads. And as you can see, this lead would has come from our um, import list. We'd need to select this lead and then press approve or make changes however we need to. And once we press approve, we can go back and that lead is now live in the CRM system. And that is exactly how you would import records into your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has been useful and has clearly explained how to import records into your Zoho CRM system. Uh, if you do have any further questions about importing records or need any help with your Zoho CRM system, feel free to drop me an email at nick at crew.co.uk. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.